Okay. Cool. So, uh, congratulations on the new single. I mean, it's it's doing. Uh, I think I read on your Facebook that it was like number eight most added rock track this past week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. awesome. Uh, Very. Definitely, I feel like your best song so far. I love the little piano. I like like the little background kind of choir to it. Can you talk about the writing process for, for that song first? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so last January, actually, we went out for Nam. Mm -hmm. um and uh, our whole band came out before nam and we recorded three new songs with our pr longtime producer eric ron um he's everyone's producer now we've been working with him for probably like 10 years but um he's doing everything anything that you listen to he's a part of right now um he's super awesome and he's like one of our best friends he was at my wedding so like we're really really close to him um but anyway yes yeah, so we went out to we uh recorded three new songs um this is one of them we have two others that we're gonna slowly release instead of just what we used to do which is just dump a bunch of songs out uh, I, we feel like you lo we lost a lot on that because people don't get to appreciate every song for what it is and you, when you work so hard on on music you want that so um yeah so we recorded three songs this is one of them uh this is like the most traditional blame ship song out of the three so release this one first the other two are a little bit different um so excited about that but yeah th this song just like immediately we're like this is the song we have to put out first it's just it's it's really is it has that feel it has that high energy um and this really what it's about is it's an underdog theme song and that's just what blame shift is all about so mm -hmm. uh, oh absolutely and uh your music video premieres tonight I, I assume it's like is it you guys in like like an mea kind of like uh like cage thing or yeah. underground yeah. fight you know? yeah well, you have to watch but um yeah it's so we had an idea to like kind of um put like me it, it's more like it's literal but then the figurative like way to think of it is like me verse like something that i would never be able to go up against and um just how uh, it, i'm i'm fighting basically a conor mcgregor in the video he's a look-alike um someone was like you guys got conor mcgregor in the video and no we didn't <laughs> that would be like another level um but yeah, it's it's like that underdog, like, you know, kind of come out on top, no matter how you got to do it, kind of uh, anthem. And the video is awesome. The video is awesome. Oh, I so, can't wait to see it. Good. And um, I think it's really cool. So the single got released, and then you're also doing a PRS guitar giveaway that uh, uh, Ron Williams, uh, uh, Ron's World, I believe, is, is, has yeah. done, right? And uh, he yes. did an amazing like painting job on it and Game for Blood, his new single. Um, how could people get, I think it runs to the end of this month, right? How could people actually uh, try to win this? Yeah, so this guitar is like nothing. I, I really honestly, I wish I didn't have to give it away. Uh, Tim and I were talking about maybe having Ron do another one for us just mm -hmm. to have on our wall because it's been it's been on my wall and it looks so good it's just the most amazing looking guitar but um yeah so we had we had an idea of something different to promote the single um something to like get fans in interacting and like excited about it so yeah we went up to ron's world which is like about two hours away from where we live it's upstate new york and we prs was lovely enough to donate a guitar to us um, Tim has been working with them for many years, so they're really supportive. Oh. And um, yeah, so Ron painted this guitar. He stripped it. It was gorgeous to begin with, but um, he made it like you know badass and rock and roll. And um, and yeah, so we we went up there. We you know went through the ideas with him, and then we drove back up there to pick it up. And yeah, so if anybody is interested in winning this guitar, blameshiftofficial.com is our website go there and there's different ways to there's different ways to um win it uh buying merch there's raffle tickets there's different things you can do but um yeah it's it's like a gorgeous thing like you wouldn't even want to really play it yeah it's cool because i mean I, i'm not a guitarist but uh growing up in maryland it was just cool to have prs around locally and they make yeah. great yep. guitars you know exactly 
And it's it's just a, like it's a piece that's that you know you put in the living room and people will talk about it because it's oh, like, absolutely very cool. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I've always been a fan of your uh, your own company, uh, Strong, which you take like guitar strings and other stuff and turn it into rock and roll jewelry. Uh, for those who don't know about it, can you explain how that got started? And yeah, um, so yeah, Strong is our jewelry company. It's a guitar string jewelry brand for men and women. Um, we started it really organically, really just not planning on launching a brand. Like when we started Strong. We were on, we were, I think we were in, um, we were on the way to Warp Tour. We were somewhere, like maybe we were in Pennsylvania, somewhere in like the Midwest-ish Ohio or something like that. And Tim was changing his guitar strings like he did like, you know, every two shows. And he always had the guitar strings sitting around the bus and it always annoyed me. And then one day I was like, cause he wrapped them to throw them out in like a, like a circle. And I was like, wait a second. Let me see that for a sec. I'm like, that, that's kind of cool. Like that would be kind of like a cool bracelet. Um, so I started messing around with some things, some metal wrap and wire and charms. And he, we went to Michael's and then that was it. I started selling them like a few days later um, at our, at our, just at our merch setup at, after a show. I remember New Jersey, it was our first show that I sold strong. Uh -huh. um, I didn't have the name strong. I had, you know, I was just selling them just as one-off uh, pieces of jewelry and people just, loved it so that was the beginning yeah. we did that for like a year and then we took like a year of like off not off from touring but just like just a year to kind of figure out how we were gonna do this and we, even still we didn't plan on it being like a, a brand we just we mm -hmm. didn't know what it was gonna be um but it was something fun and something different way to make a little bit of side money you know on the road which is never which is never a bad thing Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. it's also uh, connected to uh, your work with the NAM Foundation, correct? Right. So. Yeah. Um, so you know, we we had been we had launched strong in 2016. We were doing a lot of charity work at that time with other with random charities, not anything that specifically fit into music, but we were um, just you know as much as we could do to give back, we were doing. But like, I always felt like I needed we needed something that was like cohesive with our company mm -hmm. um that made sense and um so i was like you know i want i was like music education that's that's what i want to that's that's where i want to put our focus and i had been like researching online like different organizations we could um kind of like partner up with and one of the first things that came up was nam and i'm like wait a second we're already members of nam that like it just never really dawned on me and um, and they were just getting ready to do their fly-in, which they do every year. Um, every year, a hundred NAM members go to Washington DC and they advocate for music education to like our state senators and congressmen. And this is a really cool opportunity. It's like four days and, you know, we're, we're doing trainings, we're on Capitol Hill. And, um, and then the last day you go and you literally go into the offices of your state with, with a group that's from your state. So we were with like, Bernie, um, Bernie Williams um, from the Yankees. We were with, uh, you know, a lot of really cool people uh, yeah. that, it, yeah, it's, it's like the craziest thing. And we were walking into offices, sitting down and telling them, you know, you have to make sure you leave room in the budget for music education. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so now we're, th that's, we, we go every year and we're, we, we do, you know, as much as we can to support that. And then we, we also work with other, um, organizations that that raise money for music education like music cares and stuff like that um and then uh, guitars for vets is another one that we work really closely with they're not on the music education front but are you familiar with guitars for vets yeah yeah, yeah. um uh, i believe they they help uh, uh maybe it's different what i'm thinking of but they t work with veterans to help write songs to help express their feelings going over psd and or, or is that something yeah. Different? yeah okay yeah so Yep, exactly. So what they do is they for, they give lessons and guitars to vets who are experiencing PTSD, um, and it's an amazing organization. So we we work pretty closely with them as well. So yeah, we try to give back as much as we can because we've been really lucky in our lives to to kind of like fall into what we did, and it all came out through music. So yeah. try to give. Well, it's it's been an amazing journey, folks. I first. 
uh, interviewed Warp Tour, God, years ago, and just you know, your your nonstop fight and uh, you know bro- going up through this journey, and it's cool now see that you're getting a big radio hit out of this new single. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thanks. I'm yeah, I'm pretty excited. You know, like I, you know, we were talking about before, singles doing really well. Um, a lot of radio stations picking it up and spinning it, and you know, people like you that support us, and it's it's what it's all about. And yeah, I mean, sky's the limit. You never, yeah. you never know with a song. It's just one song to, uh, to really like, to hit people. You know, it's just that one song that you need. So. Um, what, uh, what can you tease about the other two songs you did? Um, you worked on. Um, one of them is like really different. Like it has a little bit of a, I don't know, like a little bit of an R and B ish. It's not R and B at all. Yeah. But it has like a little bit of a different feel to it than a typical blame ship song that's just like you know really yeah. heavy guitar like putting it all out there right like it's it's kind of tells a story um and the other one is more like a little bit of electronic like different sounds that um that like different sounds than we've usually used in other songs but they're both really cool and actually this is the first time i'm saying this but the mm-hmm. video today um is like the the middle of a of a story we're gonna tell that it's gonna have a prequel and a sequel. Ooh. So, yeah, got all super- three together, and you get like kind of this like kind of short movie almost, I guess. Exactly. Huh? Yes. So, oh, cool. um, yeah. So this is gonna be like the meat and potatoes of it, and then there's gonna be a beginning and an end. So, yeah. Cool. Everyone check out blameshiftofficial.com. You can find out how you can enter the guitar and check out the new music video. It launches tonight. And we can't wait to hear the new single. Yeah, make sure to go at 8 p.m. to our YouTube because we're going to be live. Uh, It's like a live premiere, so we're going to be chatting with people. It's going to be, I haven't done it before on YouTube, but I think it's going to be super cool. So Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll see you at a concert or NAM at some point when things start to get back to normal, you know.